Hello and welcome to another video from ERP Drill. In this video we are taking a look at the virtual machine server, VM server. This server is purpose built to run virtual machines and uh, it's also running the Windows 10 operating system. So taking a look at the control panel you can see from the system that this server has 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, the name of the server is S4 HANA server. Again this is a customer server uh, purpose built for running virtual machines. Again we look at the for the CPU we look at the gigahertz single thread performance and multi thread performance. If you look at the task manager you can see that the CPU has 12 uh, threads, 6 cores, 12 threads and uh, we are running 65, 64 gigs of RAM and about 2.2 .2 is used. So that is a very low overhead and uh, now we're going to take a look at the most important part of any virtual machine which is the hard drive, the single most limiting factor. In this particular machine all uh, VM load uh, drives are SSD so with the original the operating system SSD which we keep separate because uh, the operating system is very uh, intensive uh, and the swap files also on this drive it's about 120 gigabytes of swap and I mean 120 gigabytes of uh, uh, the drive and the our swap space is about 64 gigs and the rest is operating system there's nothing else installed just the operating system and uh, and then we have the ECC drive here which has the S4 HANA application layer and we have the ECC IDA second generation, second edition and then we have the HANA edition which has the S4 HANA database and we have the HANA 9.1 database for development and uh, and all of that. So there's two dat databases here, one is a regular HANA database and then we have the S4 HANA database. So the, these are the operating system the customer wants. What is direct I.O.? Direct I.O. means the drive has direct access to the, the, uh, the uh, hard drive there is no translation layer so it is like installing locally the only uh, translation that happens is uh, through the application the drive has direct access to the physical hardware so it is incredibly fast so that is the hard drive and 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 how the drives are set up so in the backup we have the archive so all the archives of the um, virtual machines that are here and then we have the tools and the tools we have the GUI and the database HANA database and then we have the MS Office which is a trial version NWBC software download manager if you want to download patches or notes and stuff like that and we have a provisioning manager software provisioning manager if you want to change any of the softwares SAP software is here so these are the tools that comes with it and then we have the training course we've included the Linux training because HANA runs on Linux and uh, Sisi Linux so we have a training course for that then we have the advanced HANA course which includes uh, administration and development modeling development all of that stuff is a, a HANA course and then finally we have the uh, system uh, basis course again completely uh, full-on uh, in-depth 72 videos 85 videos uh, um, for managing users and stuff like that so this particular customer wanted to provide access uh, to uh, to for his uh, training center he has a small training center where he's teaching s for hana and uh, ecc so we made this server particularly for him so he's teaching hana and s for hana and then ecc so uh, uh, let's go and look take a look at the uh, the virtual machines installed on this hardware again it's direct io it's installed very different to how a virtual machines installed 24 gigs uh, allocated and four processors i'm going to power on this machine you can see how quick everything runs at the same time I'm going to turn on the HANA which is taking 64 gigs 8 processors and uh, we will leave the, leave the S for HANA for, for uh, other purposes so I'm going to turn this on here and uh, the, and ECC so I'm going to make it full screen so it's easy to work with okay I'm going to move my remote desktop here so I can navigate over here okay so the, my ECC is already loaded I'm going to log into my ECC you can see the HANA will take a bit long because it's basically loading the RAM into the drive onto the hard disk so it will take 64 gigs is a lot of uh, data so this will take a bit longer but once it's up and running there's really nothing you need to do so again you can see my ECC is loaded I can work simultaneously on all four I can turn on all four of these machines this machine is very powerful so I go turn on the the ECC server here okay and again it should be very quick because it is talking directly to the hard drive there is no translation happening here it's a direct IO it's a new technology by by Intel where virtual machines can directly talk to the hardware direct IO so um, 
it should be very quick take a look the han is already loaded just like that again there's no pausing or stopping anything here this is direct real time okay okay let's load up the hana database okay this should be up and running now okay the hana is loaded full screen is amazing so I uh, really like the full screen just to make sure your IP address is running is run, is correct okay uh, to get it up and running you need the IP address to be perfect it should match so 11026 is the is the thing so now that we have HANA running and now we have ECC you know ECC should be loaded by now see so yeah, it's it's running in wait so you can log in individually right you can go into ECC and log into ECC or you can go to HANA and log into HANA but what if you don't want to do that and and you just want to uh, log into your computer so you want to keep the virtual machines on the side and use the Windows 10 machine to log into your ECC and the HANA studio to log into your EC uh, to your HANA you don't want to use the you don't want to go into you know to your virtual machine individual virtual machine I just want to work from my desktop you could do that as well so we now we go add an entry and this is the ECC IDS EHP 7 second edition right. okay and the application server is uh, I have no idea what the application server is new password has been created would you like to do so now no okay so now this is the HANA studio that's installed locally so let's go back to the virtual machine and set up the set up the um, the application server okay so at the application server is also the IP address of the server so now I'm going to go over here CMD and uh, IPCONFIG is 25. So my IP address, application server is 10.0.0.25. Again, this will change for you when it comes to your network. Again, instance is 0, EH7, finish. Okay, now I should be able to log in to my virtual machine from my desktop. Now, if your if your uh, ID DMIN. Okay, so now this is my so this is the advantage of running direct IO virtual machines. You can yeah, leave this virtual machine on and connect to it from anywhere so I'm from my desktop so now let's add the the HANA studio so open administration control so I'm going to add a system host name uh, again 10.0.0.26 was that uh, HANA from what we saw again you can take a quick look by looking over here it's HANA 26 the command is IF config okay and I'm going to minimize my virtual machine again because I don't need the virtual machines anymore instances zero zero okay and press next we're going to use the system all the passwords will be given to you okay so now here we have the all services started but no licenses installed so let's install the license so again license is uh, by a right click and you can click on license you can see the license type is invalid okay so let's install a license again license is free you can generate the license from SAP free of charge so let's go and so I will do that out of the video and I'll come back to it alright so the license is now been downloaded and installed uh, it is a free way of downloading the it uh, will give you the method of downloading and installing license it's again permanent license developer expiring uh, uh, 20 uh, December 18th 2015 so you can keep renewing this uh, license memory 64 GB right and uh, peak allocation right now it's 39 GB I mean it's that much memory GB is allocated 39 GB so that is that okay so now you can see the developer here you can open um, um, I mean this is the this is the uh, the uh, HDB system here okay and uh, just opening the administration box here and you can see here it's all working everything is up and running okay so now this is the HANA again we are connecting from our desktop from our main screen we're not going through the HANA interface here so if you go into HANA interface full screen it if you want to work like that full screen it you can go into ECC over here it's full screened here right 
and uh, the HANA is o open over here. So, all right, guys. So that is a VMware server. It's incredibly fast. Everything's working perfectly. So I'm just going to shut it down now. Okay, and uh, power off. And then I'm going to shut down the ECC as well. When you shut down, make sure you all task stop. Okay, so these are custom servers made. So if you say you want S4 HANA and you want, uh, like, say, for example, CRM, SRM, SCM on a virtual machine, we will configure that software for you on this virtual machine onto individual uh, SSD drives. We only use SSD except for the backup drive, which is a regular two terabyte drive. So, uh, no, okay, so that's basically how it works. So it's a fully functioning server, it can be adapted to any solution that we sell and uh, it's configured very differently and it runs on Windows 10 so here you go all right the HANA should be down actually now so if you refresh the machine that you will see that that uh, see the system is offline okay so that is that all right guys hope you have uh, uh, have understood at least an idea of how things work here and uh, we have a dedicated support uh, system with Skype that will be given to you and TeamViewer is installed so we can log in and fix your machine should some some uh, some uh, problems arise. So that is a fully supported machine, fully functioning, fully perfect. Everything works perfectly and this is a customer machine. He's going to be super happy. So if you have any questions, give us a call sales at sapdrill.com or uh, send us an e uh, email or a notice on Skype. Thank you.